Burned. A Miraculous Ladybug Fanfiction Part 15. Today's theme is yo-yo. If you have not heard the previous 14 parts of this story, you can find a link to them in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in support. Now then, let's get burned. Cat Noir's chest rattled with anticipation as he waited for Ladybug. She'd show, right? He didn't get the time wrong, did he? It'd been a couple of days since they saw each other. Unusual, sure, but not unheard of. He'd be okay. Sorry I'm late. I got caught up in... Ladybug leaped down beside him before continuing. Actually, it doesn't matter. Anyway, thank you for waiting. I appreciate it. It's no big deal. I'm happy you agreed to this. Well, you're right, aren't you? I think it's important that we're a bonded pair. Besides, escape rooms are fun. Oh, my lady, you have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. What do you mean? While Cat Noir had enough to his name to build a personal training course, he couldn't take out that much money without his father noticing. Well, not his father, but it would only be a matter of time before someone let him know. Follow me, he said, flashing her a grin. He led her to a car waiting for them, knowing it would throw her off. She complied, noting her worry, but knowing she trusted him set him aglow. He'd arranged for a warehouse for her at the outskirts of the city. It was hard to keep it a secret for this long, but it would be worth it. Cat understood the confused look she wore as she got out of the car. He couldn't blame her. It was strange his first time, too, and he helped design it. Come on, he said. You'll love it. What is this place? Our new training facility. Our what? She gasped as he opened the doors to a strategically rigged training center. Cat, this... Ah, ah, ah! He waved his finger back and forth. How about a game of tag, my lady? Cat lingered just long enough to catch her smile, then took off. He had the advantage, for once, because he designed it. In a battle between the two of them, Ladybug tended to have the upper hand because of the weapon provided under her. Not this time. He loved Ladybug, but he'd have to take her down this time. If he didn't, she might not train with him again. So long as he beat her, she'd keep showing up. Cat knew she would. But his usual handicap came as it always did. Her yo-yo. It gave her leverage in a way that he couldn't reach, despite the suit's bonus flexibility. All right, he called out, out of breath from a few minutes of long-distance sparring. <laughs> Let's bump this up a level. Oh, please. You're trying to save face, aren't you, Kitty? He laughed at her retort. She didn't realize there were lasers in the room. Ladybug took three leaps back when they flashed on, senses on high alert. Well, do you like it? Cat said. Her adrenaline must be too high to answer because she stood frozen. He took the first step and she all but disappeared, jump-starting his instincts to move out of the way. Sure enough, she'd somehow gotten behind him, despite her handicap. The sensors were red-sensitive, so he could pass through them in his black suit without consequence. But Ladybug? They tripped a stalemate box. If she tripped a laser but didn't move fast enough, she'd slam into a pop-up inflatable. Sure, she wouldn't get hurt, but he could tell it was annoying. Gotcha. Cat Noir felt a tug on his wrist and realized he'd gotten lassoed, despite his perch on the ceiling beams. What should he do? Tug her toward him? Use it as a fulcrum point? Yeah, fulcrum point it is. He jumped over a rafter and used the string for a glide down. Cat knew she caught onto his plan by the time he'd woven through three obstacles. She'd have to let him go, get trapped herself 
or lose her yo-yo entirely. Picking up the pace, he slid under a dip in the gymnastic-like obstacle and straight into Ladybug. What was she doing there? Gotcha, she said, bopping his nose. She'd won. Sorry to say, my lady, but this cat has nine lives. Cat leaned forward as though he were to kiss her, knowing that would throw her off. Sure enough, she released her yo-yo's grip on him and pushed away, giving him the opportunity to escape to the rafters. It's not over yet! You're fighting dirty! So does Hawkmoth. He could picture her rolling her eyes as her sigh echoed across the warehouse. This was driving her crazy, but she loved it. The idea of her enjoying herself was enough to set Cat's heart aglow, but actually coming here? He was the boy who played with matches. The zip of her yo-yo brought him back into focus, and he readied his stance for combat. It was sure to be a fun night. Thank you so much for listening. Part 16 is on its way. In the meantime, you can check out these other videos for more fanfiction. I'll catch you next time.